Hi, welcome to this video tutorial. Let's see how we can modify styles to make our data pages stand out and make them more visually appealing to our end users. In this video, we'll be looking at this application for employment form and how by using styles we can change the aesthetics of the form. A style is a set of attributes that control the appearance of each data page element, including labels, fields, buttons, colors, and more. Caspio provides a selection of built-in style templates that you can choose from. These styles can be used as is and can never be modified in order to preserve the original styles provided by Caspio. However, if you want to create your own custom style, you can use any of the styles provided by Caspio as your base template. Let's see how we can do that. To begin, go to Styles, click on New Style, and this is going to launch Caspio Styles Wizard. The first thing that I'm going to do is select my base style and I'm going to choose blue and I'm going to work on top of this style to make further modifications to my form. One thing that I want to point out at this point, if you look on the left hand side, you're going to find this panel. The top section refers to the forms and details pages of your reports. The bottom section refers to the results page of your reports. So whatever updates you make here will reflect on the submission forms and details pages and any update that you make in the bottom section will affect the look and feel of your results page. One more thing to point out on this screen, if you use the settings tab, this is really for those users who are not technically adept, who are less tech savvy and wish to use Caspio's WYSIWYG tool to make updates to styles by simply selecting these element types here on the right hand side for labels, fields, buttons, etc. And that's a quicker way to make changes to the look and feel. However, if you are technically adept and if you're a little bit more tech savvy and understand CSS, Caspio gives you this tab called Source. And here you can further manipulate your objects by injecting your own CSS if you're comfortable using CSS code. And as you can see, many of the data page elements are defined by a specific class. And then we use these properties and values to make those changes to those elements. In today's video, we're going to be using the Settings tab. And let's take a look at my form once again. So here's what my form looks like. What I would like to do is give my fields a different background color and maybe make some changes to my labels and also put a background color behind my form. Let me show you how quickly you can do that. So under Styles, if I go to Labels, I'd like to make my labels slightly bigger, maybe 16 pixels. And the type of label that I would like to have is bold. But you also have the choice here for italic, keep it normal, etc. You can also change the family font to something else. And you have the ability here to change the color of your font to one of these preloaded colors that Caspio gives you. Or you can drop your own color code here, which is usually a hex code, to give it a different color. For my fields, here's the element type text field. I'm going to use a different background color of, let's say, light yellow. And for my border options, I would like to give it a different border color, maybe something black. And if I click on preview now, you're going to be able to see what changes I'm updating to my text field. So this is just preview to be able to see the changes in real time before you save your final changes and you actually apply them to your form. I would also like to apply the same look and feel to my drop downs and also my text area. So let me close the preview screen. Once again, under fields, you're going to find text area. And I'd like to change the background color to once again yellow and have the same border color. I'll hit preview once again just so that you can see how I'm making these changes. And finally for our drop downs, if you scroll down a little bit, you're going to find drop down and list boxes. And once again, I'm going to use a different background color and a different border color. And now when I hit preview one last time, you're going to be able to see how all the fields are uniform. The next thing that I would like to do is change the background color of my form. But before I do that, I do want to show you that you can make updates to your buttons too. So if you don't want to have a background color of blue on your button, you can use a different color of your choosing. Under Layout, let's change the background color of the form. And you do that by going to Rows. So under Rows, you're going to find Background Options. At the moment, it's using a white color. But let's use a light gray color like this one here. And click Preview. And as you can see at the moment, we still have the alternate color white enabled. So let's close the preview. You can disable this if you want, or you can use the same background color of gray. Now when I hit preview, you can see how the entire form has that same background color and it's uniform. Let's close the preview once again. If you're happy with these changes, all you have to do 
is scroll down, apply this new style to your application form or any data page that you specify, click on create and let's give it a name. Blue application form. What's nice about Caspio styles is that you can build as many as you want and you can use one style across all of your data pages or you can use an individual style for a single data page. It's completely up to you because we understand that sometimes different forms will need to have different colors. This is the reason why we allow you to have multiple styles and apply them to different data pages. Now when I refresh my form, you're going to be able to see all of those changes. If you want to revert back to the original blue style, if you're not happy with this style here, you can go back to your data pages, edit your form, click next, and right over here under styles, you can select that original style again, click on preview, and you'll see that you're going to go back to those changes that we had before. But I'm going to use the new style, which is the one that we just created. Click on preview just to make sure that's the right form, and it is. Now, I often get asked this question, can we just manipulate a single field as opposed to all the fields at once? Because at this point, if you're using the Styles tab, that class is applied to all the text fields. So whatever background color you give it, all of your text fields are going to have that same background color. But what if I just want the email field to have a different background color? Now you're going to need to know a little bit of CSS. It's really not that complicated at all, but you're going to have to create an internal style inside the data page environment. So let me show you. Click next until you reach the configure properties screen. Here you're going to insert a header and footer inside your submission form. And inside the header section, what I usually like to do is disable the HTML editor and inject my own internal style. And the way you declare that is by simply typing out style and let's have a closing statement as well. And in between these two brackets, now you're going to be inputting your properties and your values to define specific style for individual fields. Let me go back to my submission form. And one thing that you can do if you're using Firefox or if you're using Chrome, if you hit F12 on your keyboard, it's going to bring up the inspect tool. And all you really need to do is click on this button here so that you can inspect any element on your website. In this case, we want the email field and you will see how this field is uniquely identified by this ID. So all you really need to do is copy this text or right click and copy to grab the ID for that field. Go back to Caspio and the way an ID in CSS is identified is by using a hashtag and then you're going to paste that ID and then you're going to need two squiggly brackets, one to open it and one to close it. And now you need to add your property and your value so that you can make those changes to that field. And in CSS, to give a property a different background color, all you need to do is just type out background, color, and then you input your own color code that you wish to have. Now there's an easy way to do this. If you Google HTML color codes, there are many of these easy to use color pickers, and all you really need to do is just drag this circle around. If you don't wish to have red, you can go down to let's just say green. And let's have this green color, and then you can see how this number here is generated on the right side. All you have to do is copy it, go back to Caspio, add a hashtag, paste that generated code, and put a semicolon. And now when you click on preview, you will see how that field is going to be green. What if I want to make some changes to my text area? Once again, we're going to hit F12 on the keyboard to inspect that element. So let's click inside it. Grab that ID, copy it, go back to Caspio. We're going to add a new hashtag, paste that text, two more squiggly brackets, and now we just need to add our properties and our values. Background color. Let's just have a light gray, which is F8, F8. And let's add one more property. How about we give it a round edge around the corners? And the way you define that using CSS is simply by typing out border radius. And let's have something drastic, maybe 15 pixels and a semicolon. Now when I hit preview, let me close the inspect tool. Now you can see how it has a light gray color and all the borders have a round edge of 15 pixels. The style section is a big topic, so I definitely recommend that you play around with the styles until you match the look and feel of your own brand or your own website. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest tips and tricks on how to use Caspio. And if you have any questions or comments, please use the comment section below.
For additional videos and articles on how to use Caspio, visit our knowledge base at howto.caspio.com. Thanks for watching and good luck building your applications.